All right, now that we got juice, we could use any juice, really, as long as it's got some sugar in it, and we can ferment it into wine. So we need to start thinking about fermentation. And the first thing we need to do is measure how much sugar is in this juice. And to do that, I'm gonna take a hydrometer reading. A hydrometer measures specific gravity. And think of it as a number that reflects how much sugar is in solution. So this is going to basically float, but instead of floating it right there in the bucket, I've actually got a hydrometer test jar. So this will go in there and it'll float. Now let's look at the numbers. Pure water is up here at 1.000. Basically for winemaking, we want it to be about 1.000. Oh, 09. So it's going to be about right there where it says 90. And if you want a sweeter wine, you can go higher. If you want a drier wine, you can go lower than that. But the 1.09 will give us a percentage of alcohol around 14%. And that's about all that these yeast can tolerate. You want at least 10% for it to be wine. So that would be 1.07 something. If you're just using fruit juice from any type of fruit that you press, you're probably going to add one pound of sugar per gallon of juice. These are all based on my prior experiences, and I determined that one pound of sugar will add between 0.03 and 0.04 to the specific gravity per gallon of must. If you're using concentrated or other types of fruit juice, maybe something you buy from the store, you're gonna have to take a measurement and do those calculations to determine how much sugar to add to bring it to 1.09. Okay, I added about five pounds of sugar and now my hydrometer is reading 1.09. We've got it all ready and so I'm gonna add the yeast here. Normally, I would just use the packet of yeast and just throw it in dry. However, today, I actually started the yeast in some sugar water and gave it a head start. And so I'm pouring that solution right into the bucket. And now we're pretty much ready to close it up. Now, this is one type of airlock. You can buy different kinds. But essentially, I've added water through the top so that the water level is equilibrated here right in the middle. And I'm just going to put this little cap on the top. Okay, now, what's going to happen is if any gas is produced, and it will be, it'll come out of the fermenter, out of the bucket, and it'll push down on the water column here. The water column will rise here until an air bubble blips and the air escapes. This won't let oxygen into the bucket. So you need a modified bucket. I know some people use balloons or whatever to catch that gas. That would work fine. But these are very inexpensive through winemaking and beer making supply shops online. And I would just get this whole rig. It'd probably cost you less than $10. It's totally worth the investment. Okay, so now we've got our grape juice with the sugar and the yeast. And I'm gonna cover it up. Got my airlock full of water. I'm gonna press this down tight and I'm just gonna let it sit. This bucket has been sitting here while I've been doing cleanup and it's only been a few minutes and look, the air is already pushing that water column down and the other side is starting to rise. So I know that I'm getting positive pressure coming out of that bucket. Within 24 hours, this whole thing is gonna be bubbling like crazy.